the opportunity for them. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Makyantamirandasya Tananjana Salakaya. Jakshumalita Mena Tasme Sri Guru Nama. Sri Chaitanya Manopistam Stapitam Yen Bhutale. Sayam Rupa Kadame Hantati Swapitantikam. One day, Sri Guru, Sri Utapatakam, Sri Guru Vaisamam, Sri Rupam, Sakajatam, Sakananga, the Sahakanan, Tam, Tam Sajivam, Sadvetam, Savadutam, Burijana Saitam, Krishna Chaitanya Devam, Sri Radha Krishna Bandan, Sahakanan Lalita, Sri Vikam, Kamsta. Hare Krishna Karna Sindhu Dina Bando Jagat Pate Gopesha Kapaka Kanta Radha Kanta Namosate Dr. Kanja Nagurangi Radhe Vrinda Nishwari Krishna Banu Sate Devi Pranami Hari Pye Manjakalpa Turush Pastya Kipa Sindhu Pai Vacha Padita Nam Pavani Vyu Vaishnavi Vyu Namo Nama Nama Om Vishnu Bhattaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Srimati Bhaktivedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswati Devi Gurvani Prishtarine Nirishisha Sunuvari Prishtata Desitarine Jashi Krishna Chaitanya Pru Nichananda Sri Advaita Gadadha Sri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavrinna Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Bol. Go. Hare Bol, Manu Prabhu, you chanted so melodiously. Very nice. I got to thank Tapare Prabhu the way that he <laughs> sings mantras. Wow. He inspires me. It was really very nice. It was very melodious. <laughs> yeah, future gift and year. Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. Seen... Sami Prabhu, Dimitri Prabhu, Manu Prabhu. All of us uh, do Kirtan will. together. Yes. Let's do it, Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu. Definitely. Yeah. Maybe next year we can all meet in Singapore. Dimitri Prabhu, you still want to stay in Russia amidst all the problems? <laughs> no, no, Prabhu. Then, then... Pretty sure he wants to leave. <laughs> okay, so like we will discuss about this after the reading. Okay. Hare Bo, Hare Bo, Hare Krishna. Okay, so today we read the chapter 15, Killing of Denukasura. Anyone knows who Denukasura is? Does anyone remember? He's the... Okay, I'm not sick. I don't, know what you can I don't say. remember. I don't remember. Uh, I would say like that's like a donkey. Donkey demon? Oh, yes, exactly. yes, yes. Yes, yes. yes. Nice the donkey demon. Yes, probably. In Taliban. Hmm. Okay, Rivo. <laughs> Watching the Little Krishna series helps actually. The animated series. <laughs> that that's the only reason why I got this. <laughs> yes, I need to see it then. Also. <laughs> because it's it's like visual, so you see these pastimes in a visual way, and then you know it registers very easily. Hmm. Yes, Prabhu, I need to so watch it. Uh, yeah, it's it's very nice actually. It's we can watch that. Yeah. Yes, Prabhu. Okay. So let's start. No problem. In this way, Sri Krishna, along with his elder brother Balaram, passed the childhood age known as Kaumara and stepped into the age of Paukanda. From the sixth year up to the tenth, at that time all the cowherd men conferred and agreed to give those boys who had passed their fifth year their charge of the cows in the pasturing ground. Given charge of the cows, Krishna and Balaram traversed Vrindavan, purifying the land with their footprints. Accompanied by the cowherd boys and Balaram, Krishna brought forward the cows and played on his flute throughout the forest of Vrindavan which was full of flowers, vegetables, 
and pasturing grass. The Vrindavan forest was as sanctified as the clear mind of a devotee and was full of bees, flowers, and fruits. When there were chirping birds and clear water lakes with waters that could relieve one of all fatigues, sweet flavored breezes blew up always, refreshing the mind and body. Krishna with his friends and Balaram entered the forest and seeing the favorable situation, enjoyed the atmosphere to the fullest extent. Krishna saw all the trees overloaded with fruits and fresh twigs coming down to touch the ground as is welcoming him by touching his lotus feet. He was very pleased by the behavior of the trees, fruits and flowers and he began to smile realize, realizing their desires. Yes, this is, these trees are interesting because in spiritual world they are moving. They are not in like in in material world that they need to stand at one place in spirit yeah. yes can move everything up. is living there yes bro. yes so the, the fruits everything you know the, the trees bend down to give their fruits to krishna yes, <laughs> and krishna takes the fruits krishna then spoke to his elder brother balaram as follows my dear brother you are a superior to all of us and your lotus feet are worshipped by the demigods just see how the trees these trees full with fruits have bent down to worship your lotus feet. It appears that they are trying to get out of the darkness of being obliged to accept the form of trees. Actually, the trees born in the land of Vrindavan are not ordinary living entities. Having held the impersonal point of view in their past lives, they are now put into this stationary condition of life. But now they have the opportunity of seeing you in Vrindavan. <clears throat> And they are praying for the further advancement in spiritual life through your personal association. Generally, the trees are living entities in the mode of darkness. The impersonalist philosophers are in that darkness. But they eradicate it by taking full advantage of your presence. I think the drones that are buzzing all around you must have been your devotees in their past lives. They cannot leave your company because no one can be a better, more affectionate master than you. You are the supreme and original personality of Godhead, and the drones are just trying to spread your glories by chanting every moment. I think some of them just be great sages, devotees of your lordship. And they are disguising themselves in the form of drones because they are unable to give, your, give up your company even for a moment. My dear brother, you are the supreme worshipful Godhead. Just see how the peacocks in great ecstasy are dancing before you. The deer whose behavior is just like the gopis are welcoming you with the same affection. And the kakus who are residing in this forest are receiving you with great joy because they consider that your appearance is so auspicious in their home. Even though they are trees and animals, the residents of Vrindavan are glorifying you. They are prepared to welcome you to their best capacity, as it is practice of great souls in receiving another great soul at home. As for the land, it is so pious and fortunate that the footprints of your lotus feet are marking its body. Hare Krishna. Krishna is glorifying Krishna. <laughs> yes, Prabhu. <laughs> yeah. So shall I read Prabhu? Yes, Prabhu. Hare Prabhu. Hare, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. <laughs> It is quite natural for these Vrindavan inhabitants to thus, to, to thus receive a great personality like you. The herbs, creepers, and plants are also so fortunate to touch your lotus feet. And by touching the twigs with your hands, these small plants are also made glorious. As for the hills and the rivers, they too are now glorious because you are glancing at them. Above all, the damsels of Raja, the gopis, attracted by your beauty, are the most glorious because you embrace them with your strong arms. In this way, both Lord Krishna and Balaram began to enjoy the residence of Vrindavan to their full satisfaction, along with the calves and cows. Uh, okay, one second. Okay, along with the calves and cows on the bank of the Yamuna. In some places, both Krishna and Balaram were accompanied by their friends. The boys were singing, imitating the humming sound of the drones and accompanying Krishna and Balaram, who were garlanded with forest flowers. While walking, the boys sometimes imitated the quacking sound of the swans in the lakes, 
or when they saw the peacocks dancing they imitated them before krishna <laughs> krishna also moved his neck imitating the dancing and made his making his friends laugh the cows taken care of by krishna had different names and krishna would call them with love after hearing krishna calling the cows would the cows would immediately respond by moving and the boys would enjoy this exchange to their heart's content they would all imitate the sound vibrations made by the different kinds of birds especially the chakoras peacocks cuckoo and the bharadwajas sometimes when they would see the weaker animals fleeing out of fear of the sounds of tigers and lions the boys along with krishna and balram would imitate the animals and run away with them when they felt some fatigue they would sit down and balram would put his head on the lap of one of the boys just to take rest and krishna would immediately come and begin massaging the legs of balram and sometimes he would take a palm fan and fan the body of balram causing a pleasing breeze to relieve him of his fatigue other boys would sometimes dance or sing while balram took rest and sometimes they would wrestle among themselves or jump when the boys were thus engaged krishna would immediately join them and catching their hands he would enjoy their company and laugh and praise their activities when krishna would feel tired and fatigued he would sometimes take shelter of the root of a big tree or the lap of a cowherd boy and lie down when he would lie down with a boy or a root at his as his pillow some of the boys would come and massage his legs and some would fan his body with a fan made from leaves some of the more talented boys would sing in sing in very sweet voices to please him this very soon his fatigue would go away the supreme personality of god had krishna whose legs are tended by the goddess of fortune shared himself with the cowherd boys as one of them we can scroll down as one of them expanding his internal potency to appear exactly like a village boy but despite his appearing just like a village boy there were occasions when he proved himself to be the supreme personality of godhead sometimes men pose themselves as the supreme personality of godhead and cheat innocent people but they can only cheat they cannot exhibit the potency of god hari krishna hari krishna well krishna was thus engaged in exhibiting his internal potency along with the super most fortunate friends there occurred another chance for him to exhibit the superhuman powers of godhead his most intimate friends shri dama subala and stoka krishna began to address krishna and balram with great love and affection thus dear balram you are very powerful your arms are very strong dear krishna you are very expert in killing all kinds of disturbing demons Will you kindly know that just near this place there is a big forest of the name Talavana Talavana this forest is full of palm trees and all this and all the trees are filled with fruits some are falling down and some of them are very ripe even in the trees it is a very nice place but because of a great demon Hanukasura it is very difficult to go there no one can reach the trees to collect the fruits dear krishna balarama This demon is present there in the form of an ass and he is surrounded by similar demon friends who assume the same shape all of them are very strong so it is very difficult to approach this place dear brothers you are the only persons who can kill such demons other than you no one can go there for fear of being killed not even animals go there and no birds are sleeping there they they have all left On, uh, one can only appreciate the sweet ar- aroma that is coming from that place it appears that up until now no one has tasted the sweet fruits there either on the tree or on the ground dear krishna to tell you frankly we are very attracted by this sweet aroma dear balarama let us all go there and enjoy these fruits the aroma of the fruits is now spread everywhere don't you smell it from here when balarama and krishna were thus petitioned by their smiling intimate friends they were inclined to please them and they began to proceed towards the forest surrounded by all their friends immediately upon entering the tavalan talavana balarama began to yank the trees with his arms exhibiting the strength of an elephant because of this jerking all these uh 
and all the ripe fruits fell down on the ground. Upon hearing the sound of the falling fruits, the demon Dehenukasura, who was living uh, who was living there in the form of a, in the form of an ass, began to approach with great force, shaking the whole field so so that all the trees began to move as if there were an earthquake. The demon appeared first before Balarama and began to kick his chest with his hind legs. At first, Balarama did not say anything, <laughs> but the demon with great Anger began to kick him again more vehemently. This time Balarama immediately caught hold of the legs of the ass with one hand and wheeling him around threw him into the treetops. While he was being wheeled around by Balarama, the demon lost his life. Balarama <laughs> threw him. <laughs> I like Balarama. Yeah, it's the most funniest thing, you know, that they just toss around these demons. They just take with one yeah. hand. And they kill them. <laughs> so they play with toys. No? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Balarama threw the demon into the biggest palm tree about, and the demon's body was so heavy that the palm tree fell upon other trees, and several fell down. It appeared as if a great hurricane had passed through the forest, and all the trees were falling down one after another. This exhibition of extraordinary strength is not astonishing because Balarama is the personality of Godhead known as Ananta Sheshanaga, who is holding all the planets on the hoods of his millions of heads. The whole cosmic manifestation is maintained by him exactly as two threads hold the waving of a cloud. After the demon was thrown into the trees, all the friends and associates of the Hanukasura immediately assembled and attacked Balarama and Krishna with great force. They were determined to retaliate and avenge the death of their friend. But Krishna and Balaram began to catch each of the asses <laughs> by the hind legs and exactly in the same way wheel them around. Thus, they kill all of them by throwing them into the palm trees. Because of the dead bodies of the asses, there was a panoramic scene. It appeared as if clouds of various colors were assembled in the trees. Hearing of this great incident, the demigods from the higher planets began to shower flowers on Krishna and Balaram and began to beat their drums and offer devotional pray play prayers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So... A, a few days after, and we just put up the brightness. Hold on. A few days after killing the uh, Dekosora, people began to come into the Telavon forest to collect fruits, and animals began uh, began to return without fear and uh, to feed on the nice grass from there. Just by chanting or hearing these transcendental activities and pastimes of of the of the brothers Krishna and Balarama, one can. Uh, amass pious activities. When Krishna, Balarama, and their friends entered on the village of Vrindavana, they played their flutes, and the boys praised um praised their uh, uh, on, uncommon activities in the forest. Their faces are uh, decorated with tilak and smeared with the dust raised by the cows, and Krishna's head is decorated with the peacock feather. Both he and Balarama played um played their flutes, and the young bo um, gopis were joyous to see Krishna returning home. All the gopis in Vrindavana remained, um, remained very morose on account of Krishna's absence. All day they were thinking of Krishna in the forest or of him herding cows in the pasture. When they saw Krishna returning, all their anxieties were immediately uh, relieved, <clears throat> and they began to look at his face. Uh, the way that drones hover over the honey of the lotus flower. When the when Krishna entered the village, the young gopis smiled and laughed. Krishna, while playing the flute, and enjoyed the beautiful smiling faces of the gopis. Then Krishna and Balarama were immediately received by their affectionate mothers, Yashoda and Rohini, and according to the uh, time's demands, they began to fulfill the desires of their affectionate sons simultaneously uh, the, um, simultaneously, the mothers rendered service and bestowed benediction upon their transcendental sons. They were very nicely took. Um, they very nicely took care of their children by bathing and dressing them. 
Krishna was dressed in a bluish garment in Balarama. Uh, and Balarama was dressed in yellowish garments. They were um, they were given all sorts of ornaments and and flower gardens. Being relieved and fatigued uh, of their day's work in the pasturing ground, they they looked fr uh, refreshed and very beautiful. They were given palatable dishes by their mothers. They were pleasantly um, and they pleasantly ate everything. After eating, they were seat uh, seated nicely on clean bedding, uh, and the mother began to sing various songs of their activities. As soon as they sat down on the bedding, they were on the they quickly fell uh, fast, fell fast asleep. In 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 this way, Krishna and Balarama used to enjoy Vrindavan life as cowherd boys. Sometimes Krishna used to go with the cowherd friends and with Balarama, and sometimes he used to go alone with his friends uh, to the bank of the Yamuna and tend to the cows. Gradually, the summer season arrives. Uh, arrived, and one day, while in the field, the boys and the cow, uh, cows became very thirsty and began to drink the water of the Yamuna. The river, uh, the river, however, was made poisonous by the venom of the great serpent known as Kal Kalia. Because the water was so poisonous, the boys and the cows became uh, affected immediately and became visibly affected immediately after drinking. They suddenly fell down on the ground and appeared dead. And then Krishna, who is the life of all lives, simply cast his merciful glance over them. And all the boys and, cow and cows regained consciousness and began to look at one another with great astonishment. They could understand that by drinking the water of the Yamuna, they had died. And that the merciful glance of Krishna restored their life. And thus they appeared um, they appreciate the mystic power of Krishna, who is known as Yogeshwar, the master of all mystic yogis. Thus ends the Bhaktivedanta purport of the 15th chapter of Krishna, given of the uh, Dehu Kesura. Arivo. Arivo. Yes, this was a nice chapter. Oh, next chapter is about Kalya's name. Yeah, but this we can read. Yeah, this is very nice. Yes, Prabhu. Oh, yes, the vibes of Kalya's snake were like, oh, this Kalya snake is a little bit crazy like this. <laughs> Yeah, and they yeah. Offer, they were devotees, no? So they offered their actually, yeah, they were surprised. I mean, what this Kalia has done yeah. in the past. I mean, yes. because he's so fortunate, Krishna himself is dancing on his hand. Yes, bro. <laughs> yeah, this Kalia name is really <laughs> fun. I, I found find this Kalia name so funny because it means uh, beer in Finnish. Kalia is Finnish beer. <laughs> So he's like beer. a drunk fellow. Be beer yoga. Yeah. <laughs> At that time, Kalia poisoned Yamuna River. Yeah. At present, beer is poisoning so many people. Yes, Prabhu. I always yeah, found nice that. And, and this way he's saying it like Kalia is like is like a drunk person saying Kalia. It's like Kalia. <laughs> it's like this the drunk person. <laughs> Yeah, it's like this. Beer. <laughs> Kalia. Okay, let's read six of the compares. Cheto darpana marjanam bava mahada vagni nirvapanam shreya kairava chantrika vitaranam ityava dujivanam Anandam Budivardanam Pratipadam Purnam Ritasvadanam Sarvatmasnapanam Param Vijayate Sri Krishna Sankirtanam 
Nam nam akari paudani tisari saktis tatra pitani amitas mane nakala ita chushita bakipa bakavama ma pitu de pitchi samyata tinadaraga. Rinada pisa nichana tarora pisa hishana amanina mana de ne kirtani hasada harihim. Na janam na janam na sundarim kavitam vajagadisha kamaye no janmani janmani shwari bhavata bhaktura hai tuki tvai. Ainanda tanuja kinkaram paditam maam vishame bhavam budau kripa tavapada pankaja stida duli sadrasam vichintaya. Nainam kalad asudariya tadu. Patanam kat kanuru takvira, pulakene chitamba pukata tavu namakehe pavishiti. Yuga itam nimesha na chakshusha pravrisha itam shunya itam jagat sarvam gavinda virahe nami. Ashli shiva padratam pinashtuma madashanan mad mahatam karutuva itadadhava vidhatulam patu matran nathas saivana para. Haribo, glory to the Sri Krishna Sankirtana, which cleanses the heart of all the dust accumulated for years and extinguishes the fire of conditional life of repeated birth and death. This Sankirtana movement is the prime benediction for humanity at large because it spreads the rays of the benediction moon. It is the life of all transcendental knowledge. It increases the ocean of transcendental bliss and it enables us to fully taste the nectar for which we are always anxious. Oh, my Lord, your holy name alone can render all benedictions to the living beings. And thus you have and thus you have hundreds of millions of names like Krishna and Govinda. In these transcendental names, you have invested all your transcendental energies. They're not even hard and fast rules for chanting these names. Oh, my Lord, out of kindness, you enable us to easily approach you by your holy names. But I'm so unfortunate that I have no attraction for them. Uh, anyone can go. Uh, the Mr. Babu is reading. Anyhow, so yeah. One should chant the holy name of the Lord in a humble state of mind, thinking of the Lord and the straw in the street. One should be more tolerant than a tree, devoid of false sense of false prestige, and should be ready to offer all respect to others. In such a state of mind, one can chant the holy name of the Lord constantly. <laughs> O oh, Almighty Lord, I have no desire to accumulate wealth, nor do I desire beautiful women, nor do I want any number of followers. I only want your causeless devotional service, birth after birth. O oh, Son of Maharaj Nanda, Krishna, I'm your eternal servitor. Yes, somehow or other, I've fallen into the ocean of birth and death. Please pick me up from this ocean of death and place me as one of the arms of your lowest feet. Hmm. Oh, oh my, my lord, lord. Be filled with Sorry, tears of love, I constantly when I chant your holy name then when my voice choked up remember the hairs of my body stand running at the recitation of your name uh, oh Gavinda feeling your separations I'm considering a moment to be like 12 years or more tears are flowing from my eyes like torrents of rain I, I am feeling all vacant in the world in my absence I know no one but Krishna is my Lord and he shall remain. So even if he handles me roughly by his embrace or makes me broken hearted by not being present before me, he is completely free to do anything and everything for he is always my worshipful Lord unconditionally. Sri Sikhastakam ki jai. Harinam Sankirpam ki jai. Panchadatta ki jai. Jai. Ki jai. Sri Krishna Mahaprabhu ki jai. Jai. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Shri Prabhupada ki jai. 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 Jai.